Right now, as you're watching this, a mountain in the Philippines is doing something that has volcanologists around the world holding their breath. Mount Mayan just unleashed 100 pyroclastic flows in a single day, not in a week, not in a month, in one day. And the terrifying part? This is exactly how its deadliest eruptions in history began. The numbers coming from monitoring stations are unlike anything scientists expected to see. Since January 6, 2026, this perfectly shaped volcano has transformed from a tourist attraction into a geological nightmare. Over 3,400 people have already fled their homes, abandoning everything they've built over generations. But evacuation might not be enough this time. What makes this situation unprecedented isn't just the raw power being displayed, it's the timing. Mount Mayan has been inflating like a balloon since June 2024, building pressure deep beneath its perfect cone. Every instrument monitoring this volcano is screaming the same warning, something massive is coming. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology raised the alert to level 3, a classification that sends chills through anyone who understands volcanic behavior. This means hazardous eruption is not just possible, it's probable, and the type of eruption Mayan is building toward could make its previous disasters look like rehearsals. Let me explain what's actually happening inside this mountain right now. At Mayon Summit, molten rock is emerging, but not in the flowing rivers you might expect. This lava is thick, almost like toothpaste, and instead of running down the slopes, it's piling up at the top, forming what scientists call a lava dome. This dome is essentially a cork blocking the volcano's throat, and pressure is building behind it every second. The physics here are terrifying. When gravity finally wins and sections of this dome collapse, they don't just tumble down like regular rockfalls. The material transforms into pyroclastic density currents, superheated avalanches of gas, ash, and rock racing down the mountain at over 100 kilometers per hour, with temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. Nothing survives in their path. Mount Mayan rises 2,462 meters above the northeastern Philippines, its silhouette forming the most perfect volcanic cone on Earth. This isn't artistic exaggeration. Geologists consistently rank it as the world's most symmetrical volcano. Standing in Albay province, this 8,000-foot giant attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists annually, all drawn to photograph nature's geometric masterpiece. But that perfect shape tells a darker story. Mayan holds the distinction of being the Philippines' most active volcano, with 54 documented eruptions since 1616. That's over 400 years of relentless violence, averaging one major eruption every seven years. The symmetry everyone admires comes from continuous cycles of destruction and reconstruction, each eruption adding layers while catastrophic flows reshape the slopes. The volcano's beauty actually amplifies its deadliness. Those steep uniform slopes that photographers love create the perfect conditions for pyroclastic flows to accelerate to devastating speeds. When material collapses from the summit, the angle turns debris into supersonic death clouds. What's happening now represents a dramatic escalation from recent activity. During November and December 2025, monitoring stations recorded 599 rockfall events total. In just the first week of January 2026, they've already documented over 350. The acceleration is brutal and undeniable. Dr. Teresito Bacolcol, leading the monitoring efforts, reported that individual rockfall events last between one and five minutes, transporting incandescent lava debris up to a kilometer down the volcano's flanks. These aren't cold rocks tumbling under gravity, they're glowing red-orange, still radiating heat from the mountain's interior. Tuesday, January 7th, provided visual confirmation of the crisis. Between 6.36 and 7 o'clock p.m., cameras captured the lava dome glowing at Mayon Summit, visible for dozens of kilometers against the night sky. The mountain had become a beacon, warning of the power building within. Then came the 24-hour period that shocked even veteran volcanologists. Between January 8th and 9th, instruments recorded 72 rockfall events, 100 pyroclastic density currents, and two volcanic earthquakes. That level of activity in a single day represents intensity rarely documented at any volcano on Earth. The most alarming data comes from ground deformation measurements. GPS networks, tilt meters, and distance measurements all confirm the volcano's entire structure has been inflating since June 2024. The eastern and southeastern sectors show the most dramatic changes. This isn't surface activity, 
It's evidence of magma forcing its way upward from deep chambers below. Sulfur dioxide emissions provide another piece of the puzzle. On January 8th, instruments measured 1,095 tons per day escaping from the volcano. While not excessively elevated, this steady degassing confirms active magma circulation within the system, bringing fresh molten rock closer to the surface continuously. The human impact began immediately. Governor Noel Rosal announced that 2,889 people from 729 families had been evacuated from villages within the 6-kilometer danger zone, but fear spread beyond official boundaries. An additional 600 people fled voluntarily, seeking safety even though they lived outside designated risk areas. By January 7th, exactly 3,476 people from 952 families had abandoned their homes. Tobacco City saw 1,181 evacuees. Mali Liput recorded 1,193. Military troops, police forces, and disaster teams coordinated the massive displacement, directing families to 13 emergency shelters established across the region. The evacuations reveal a cruel paradox. These aren't tourists or temporary residents, these are families who've lived on Mayon slopes for generations. The volcanic soil produces some of the Philippines' most fertile agricultural land. Economic survival and volcanic risk occupy the same space, forcing impossible choices on communities that can't simply relocate. Every shelter now houses people whose entire lives remain in the danger zone. Farms that fed families for decades sit abandoned. Businesses built over lifetimes stand empty. Children miss school while parents wonder if they'll have homes to return to. The waiting is psychological torture. Alert Level 3 could persist for months as it did in 2023. Dr. Maria Antonia Bornas explained the most likely scenario mirrors that 2023 event when Mayon maintained elevated activity for six full months. But there's a critical difference this time. In 2023, the volcano wasn't showing the sustained inflation patterns now evident. The mountain is being pushed upward from within by forces that show no signs of decreasing. The worst-case scenario keeps scientists awake at night. If the lava dome experiences complete failure in a single catastrophic event, warning time would be essentially zero. A massive section giving way suddenly would generate pyroclastic density currents instantly. Within five minutes, flows would reach two to three kilometers from the summit. Everything in their path would be incinerated. The six-kilometer danger zone exists for documented reasons. In 1814, a major eruption buried the entire town of Kagsawa, killing approximately 1,100 people. The church ruins remain visible today, a stone memorial to volcanic fury. Current evacuation boundaries mirror the footprint of past disasters, drawn in blood and ash. Modern monitoring provides advantages our ancestors never had. Seismic instruments track every tremor. Thermal cameras capture heat signatures invisible to human eyes. Gas measurement stations sample atmospheric composition continuously. This represents one of Earth's most sophisticated volcanic surveillance networks. Yet technology has limits. Scientists can track patterns and recognize dangerous trends, but they cannot pinpoint the precise instant when accumulated stress will exceed what fractured rock can withstand. The volcano keeps its own timeline, moving faster than human response systems can react. Communities around Mayan have developed a unique culture shaped by perpetual threat. Regular evacuation drills ensure residents know protocols. Educational programs teach warning signs. Emergency supplies remain prepositioned. Designated routes stay maintained. This preparation saves lives, but it also normalizes living beside death. The economic pressure intensifies daily. Extended evacuations generate fatigue that erodes caution. Businesses hemorrhage money. Crops rot in fields. Each passing week increases the temptation to return before authorities declare it safe. History shows this pattern repeating across generations, people creeping back too soon, drawn by necessity rather than safety. International volcanic monitoring networks are watching Mayon closely. The patterns emerging match those preceding some of history's most devastating eruptions. The combination of sustained dome growth, ground deformation, and escalating pyroclastic activity creates what volcanologists call a perfect storm of warning signs. The mountain's current behavior suggests two possible outcomes. Slow extrusion might continue for months, maintaining crisis conditions while gradually releasing pressure, or the dome could fail catastrophically, unleashing destruction that reshapes the entire region in minutes. Nature hasn't revealed which path it will choose. As darkness falls each night, Mayon's summit glows against the sky, 
the incandescent dome serves as a constant reminder of forces building beneath. Families in evacuation centers watch their mountain burn slowly, wondering if they'll ever return to the lives they've built in its shadow. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology maintains round-the-clock surveillance. Every tremor, every gas emission, every millimeter of ground movement feeds into models trying to predict the unpredictable. Scientists know the eruption is coming. They just can't say if it will arrive tomorrow or months from now. Mount Mayan stands as Earth's most beautiful killer, its perfect cone hiding centuries of violence. The current crisis represents another chapter in this endless cycle of destruction and rebuilding. Communities that have survived previous eruptions now face the mountain's fury again, armed with better technology but facing the same impossible choices. The numbers remain stark. 100 pyroclastic flows in 24 hours, ground deformation accelerating since June 2024, over 3,400 people displaced and waiting. Each measurement adds urgency to questions without answers. Will the dome collapse gradually or catastrophically? Can communities survive months of sustained evacuation? How long before economic pressure overrides safety concerns? Above all Bay Province, the perfect silhouette continues its ancient dance of creation and destruction. Beautiful enough to attract tourists from around the world, deadly enough to erase entire communities in minutes. The mountain that shouldn't be erupting continues building towards something unprecedented, while thousands wait in shelters for permission to return to homes that might not survive what's coming. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.